Hello, ladies and gentle blocks. It's Oliver Frenchie here. And this is a series I've been keeping quiet for quite some time. Uh, I don't think anyone really knew that uh, I was going to do it, but uh, this is Survival Island. Yeah, Desert Island. Desert Island with pretty much nothing on it. Uh, if you didn't know, this is probably the original survival map and harsh conditions and this is a map made by Ashen and this is I mean this is old this is old school this was probably one of the first big time maps that people started downloading at the time of its creation and yeah and I played it I did play a bit with my friend Deeks that was a long long time ago as well um, but following my world in a jar survival series I I sort of sat there thinking what map I would I would like to do next in terms of uh, I guess challenging survival um, because you know I do I do still do the minefield series and mod fields uh, even though I might potentially stop mod fields um, I do still do the minefield series uh, which is of course uh, survival however it's not uh, what I would call challenging survival. It's a bit... It's your bog standard survival, basically. And... This is... There we go. This is why I have decided... No. Need more blocks. This is why I've decided to... Actually, I get given stuff in here. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. I forgot about this. Um, uh, this is why I decided to do a, a short series... Uh, well, I say short, basically until I finish all these challenges and things. Um, and, uh, yeah, just to replace the World in a Jar series, which sadly ended. Uh, but I thought it was one of the, probably the best series I've ever done, certainly. And, uh, that's why I wanted to do something else. I want to do something else. So I'm trying this out. Um, obviously people might absolutely hate it and, um, you know... If they do, then that's a shame because I really enjoy it. Um, if you do, if you do not like it, then please don't hesitate to tell me because I will try and find something else for you guys. Um, but obviously, I thought this would be quite cool going back, old school, and uh, I know it was it was overdone at the time. Um, however, I think it's been long enough now uh, so that I can actually do it myself. So basically, the concept of it is you are on a desert island. And on this desert island, there you start with one tree and some sugar cane. I'm going to stand here and watch. And essentially, so you've got really limited resources. Um, and you need to make do it. It's a bit like Skyblocks. Probably most of you have heard of Skyblocks, um, which was huge as well. And it was actually based on this, if I'm... Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it was originally based, or the concept certainly was based on this map. So you've got li very limited resources. Uh, there is a dungeon on this map which drove me absolutely crazy back in the day because I just couldn't figure out how to go about it. And I see sapling and an apple, I think. Uh, yep. Oh, just a sapling. Okay. And so, yeah, you've got to make do with these limited resources and you've got to get animals spawning uh, and obviously mobs as well if you want to start doing some more advanced things. And there is a list of challenges, which I don't currently have uh, next to me. However, I am planning on making this a bit a bit more professionally edited, shall we say, compared to my old series. But there we go. So we'll take that, and I'm going to go ahead and start growing the, these a bit better. And eventually, I'd, ideally, I'd like to clear all this out and make it all grass and dirt basically and we've got a lot of dirt around however things are different because obviously we're not in uh beta 1.4 i think this is made in something along those lines and so that basically means that a lot of mechanics have changed but i will try to do my best um oh no just there please please and we'll do that. And we're going to need a shovel. And we'll do that there. Oakley doakley. And I'm just going to get some dirt to spread out some nice foundations. Oh, 
We're underwater, under the sea. So I'm just gonna go ahead and collect some dirt, guys, and I'll be right back with you in a second once I'm done. The other thing that's different is obviously hunger. We didn't have hunger back in the days that this map was created. And that basically means that I've got that to worry about. And I mean, I'd rather not die from hunger, preferably. You know, that would be a bonus. I think it's an extra challenge. Uh, but it is inevitable if I don't find a decent source of food. So I'm going to have to be careful with that. Uh, very, very careful. But I'm just going to lay out this uh, area of basically grass I'm going to want. And this grass will spread along all these dirts of, uh, dirts of blocks. Blocks of dirt. <laughs> and hopefully then we'll have a valid area for mobs and yeah, mobs, animals and all sorts to spawn in. So I'm just going to do the basic outline here and then I'll fill it in afterwards with some dirt. Um... But as I said, I think the key to doing well on this map is to essentially start... Ooh, that noise. Is to essentially start well and get some, some generally good resources going. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. Uh, but I also want to try and find some stone. So I will see you guys in a second. So the sun is setting down. So I'm going to have to go ahead and place down my bed. The first bed of the map. And I'll probably, obviously, I'll move this to a to a, an actual house once I get the house built. But I've only just finished uh, tearing out this area. And I've got, where is it? In here. I've got sufficient amount of sand to make any uh, glass that I want to make. You can only sleep at night. It is night. Sort of. Yeah. Close enough. <laughs> I mean, who's, who's counting? All credits go to Ashen. I think I will uh, leave this or this sign here. Or I will try and put it somewhere where I can... Attribute credit correctly to Ashen. So, uh, come on! I'm getting excited! I wanna go to bed, ma'am! 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 Okay, now we get. Can... <sighs> yeah! Finally, God. Take your time, Minecraft. Ooh. Here we go. Here we go. All right, guys. So I will see you once again once I finish filling out this area. Five hours later, I am finally done. Yay. And time to eat the last steak. Oh, I don't know if I want to. No, I'll leave it for now. I'll leave it. So here we've got our little uh, grass pad here. Well, soon to be grass pad. This grass will expand out and it will keep going and keep going and keep going. So this entire thing is made of grass, at which point hopefully we will have... Ooh, ooh, nearly placed that lava down. At which point we will hopefully, hopefully, then get some animals spawning. So I think next court of order and then the last port of order... Court of order, port of order, I can't remember what the, <laughs> the expression is. Uh, will be to create a uh, cobblestone generator. I just want to quickly terraform... Terraform around... Maybe like that. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and find what I think is the best cobblestone generator design. Because I know there are quite a few out there. And I'll get right back to you. Wow. So I was trying to make a really efficient cobblestone generator over here. But then I realized that I actually needed a solid inflammable block to create it. So I think we're going to try something else here. Uh, which should hopefully work. This is another rudimentary design. And please work. Please don't turn to obsidian. Yes! That's what we want. That is what we want. So, strictly saying... I should be able to just sit here. Yeah. You see, guys? I'm a boss. Well, not really. I mean, this is... Like I said, fairly rudimentary, but... It does the tr- mm, apart from being burnt by lava. There we go. So now, hmm, time for the grand unveiling of uh, what should hopefully be a decent generator. I'm hoping, I really am hoping, and I hope this one doesn't screw up, basically. Um, so I believe I put 
one block there, one block there. So that should get a steady stream going. Yes. Now, hmm. Let me quickly check the design. So yes, strictly speaking, and I'm going to do this quickly. Because I don't trust myself or my game well enough to waste this cobblestone when trying to create another generator. That's my last stake gone. So I'm going to try and mine... Ooh, that was quick. I'm going to try and mine up uh, a fair amount of cobblestone just very quickly, probably around 10, and then test the other one. And then hopefully it works. Hopefully. Hopefully is the key word in that sentence. All right, this should do it. Okay. Moment of truth. Can I not pick that? Oh, no, probably not. Okay, this is a big moment. Big moment. So if I stand here and I dig out this one. Yes. Okay, that just burnt the block. This seems to be working. Seems to be working. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm getting a decent rate out of it. I mean, I'm not complaining. I mean, most of the blocks are actually being burnt by the lava, but I'm I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm quite this is this is happy. This is this is one of the first challenges we've completed, guys. Build a cobblestone generator. Which we have. Yay! Time to go and make a stone pickaxe. Yay! <sighs> stone is so rudimentary. Oh, and I can do this, and I can go wah 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 wah. And the one, two. Keep you there, because I miss you. <laughs> and I can do that, and yeah! Cobblestone stuff! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Every day I'm shuffling. And look at this, guys. Whilst I've been busy working, all of this has started to spread. It's spreading our breath. Spread our butter. Although what is worrying me is these are growing very, very slowly. But we'll have to see in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, leave a like. If you really have, leave a favourite. And then if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. I've been Oliver Frenchy. <laughs> Keep forgetting to press F5 twice. And thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.